going on everybody? Ryan from Cigars and Scriptures here. Today we are smoking the Crossfire uh, Maduro. Check out that ash. I know, I'm stoked. Uh, so as you can see, I mean the ash has been killer. It hasn't fallen once. It's uh, thanks holding strong. I even kind of flinched once and thought for sure it was going down. But uh, she stayed in strong, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Um, this is their Crossfire Maduro, the, cross, the Crossfire Maduro. Uh, the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano and shade grown natural Maduro wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican filler. Uh, this is a 5.5 by 56. Uh, they call it Gordo. Uh, the site says it's medium to full, and basically that's how it's been smoking. It really kind of started um, on the medium side. Uh, right when we lit it, lots of nuts, just boom, lots of like almond flavor, and that lasted for the majority of the first third. The second third became uh, not a whole lot different, but you could you could really feel the cigar becoming more full bodied as you smoked. Uh, so it be you know we got a little bit of a change. Um, it was weird because the body had this like really rich kind of milk chocolatey scent to it along with the almond and like a sweet rich tobacco I haven't gotten a single glimpse of that chocolate taste once yet so that's kind of throwing me back a little bit uh, but other than that the smoking characteristics have been just absolutely phenomenal uh, every crossfire that we've smoked in this series has been uh, that's just poured smoke off the foot. Exhalation's been great. Draw is exceptional. It's, it's just been wonderful. A little bit more on the open side than I would prefer. Uh, if you watch any of our videos or read our blog, you'll know that I have some serious OCD. I'm, I'm quite the perfectionist. So, I mean, something may be, you know, perfect, but because I've got such bad OCD and, and, uh, and such that I am a little critical with just about everything. The second third, we still had some almond or some nuts. It wasn't quite the almond flavor, just more like a mixed nut kind of flavor. Um, creamy, it's been creamy the entire time up until now when we've kind of entered this, gotten uh, into this final run on the on the final third here, the third third. I hate saying that, it sounds so dorky. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a very excellent smoke. Um, the burn's been wonderful. Uh, the construction was great. There, it was nearly seamless, very minimal veins. I had a triple cap on the head, cut real nicely. Took to the flame phenomenally. I mean, it, as soon as it started burning, it was just razor sharp. Uh, we haven't, I haven't had to correct this once, um, and, and it's been great. Now that we're in the final third, it's gotten really strong with like the rich tobacco. Woo! What was that? Killer bugs out here! I swear. Desert dang bugs. Um, great, rich tobacco flavors, lots of leather, and now uh, like some spice. So now there's there's like a hidden spice in there. Uh, the retro hill had lots of spice, with but it wasn't sharp. It wasn't it wasn't really like a like a real sharp spice. Uh, it's more like a like a white pepper with a hint of black pepper. Um, other than that, I mean, this is this has just been a really great smoke so far. So I don't want to give too much away. You're gonna have to visit our blog to read the rest. You can uh, you can check it out on cigarsandscripture.wordpress.com. So make sure you give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, see what we've got to say. Join the conversation. Also, a quick shout out. Make sure you guys are checking out blessedleaf.com uh, and create a site there or create a, uh, a profile there get involved have some fun so we'll see you guys later